Brothers and sisters, it's a beautiful day. And we just praise God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I'm just Joe, no title. And today is my last day in paradise. Paradise Island, that is. But I'm looking forward to the paradise of God. Amen. Amen. And I hope you are too. So today's message is about that. So if you brought your Bibles today, please turn to Revelation chapter 2. We'll read verse 7. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. And it's going to be a lot like this, only better. And now turn with me to chapter 21, and we'll start reading in verse 2. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, no sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. And so we have so much to look forward to in the paradise of God, brothers and sisters. And that paradise is like this paradise, a paradise of plants and living things, of solitude and harmony and grace and peace. This place of love. And there will be hope of today being like yesterday. Every day will be the same. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, it's important that we know how much it's worth to serve our God. And as the Word of God said, there's no more crying in the paradise of God, brothers and sisters. It's complete happiness. And so always remember and know in your heart the reward is overwhelming. The Word of God tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ to receive the things done in the body, whether good or bad. Also in Matthew 12, 36, it says we will be judged by every idle word that we speak, brothers and sisters. And so keep pressing forward for that upward call. People have to change their heart towards the love of God. That's the message of life, brothers and sisters. Remember, Mary and Martha were good. But Mary of Magdalene was bad, but she changed. God came for everyone, brothers and sisters. And you too can change if you haven't. If you just take Jesus as your master, your teacher, your example, believe his doctrine and obey him, and we will all be with our Lord and Savior someday in the paradise of God. So remember, brothers and sisters, to read up every day and pray up every day and keep the love of Jesus in your heart, and we'll all be with our Lord and Savior forever and ever. Amen. And so now, brothers and sisters, we know that Jesus is the doctrine and foundation of the kingdom as God, man, and media. He's the foundation of the covenant of grace, of eternal salvation, of faith, hope, peace, and joy. His proper deity of his eternal sonship, of his incarnation, messiahship, his obedience, suffering, death, and resurrection from the dead. Justified by his righteousness and pardoned by his blood and anointment by his sacrifice. And so brothers and sisters, it's important to do communion often as the Word of God says. And so please go get a little piece of bread and a little wine and join me in that ceremony of life. Before we partake in this important ceremony, brothers and sisters, we must pray to our Father in heaven. And so please humble yourself with me and bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before your throne. Dear Father, please forgive us for all the sins we've done and even sins we did that we did not know were sins. And your will always be done, Father, not ours. We pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, at the Passover meal, our Lord broke the bread and blessed it and passed it out. And he said, this is the body that was given for you. Eat this in remembrance of me, and we will eat together. And then he took the wine and he passed it out. And he said, this is the blood of the new covenant that was shed for many for the remission of sins. Drink this in remembrance of me and we will drink together.
So brothers and sisters, may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen.